Welcome back everybody. Today we are dropping back into some toy reviews with a brand new, long awaited for me personally, Glyos drop that just came out from Boglen Creations. We're talking the Stonem line. Now these drops are very few and far in between and honestly seeing some of my friends online that had these amazing looking Glyos figures are part of the reason why I got into Glyos in the first place alongside a couple of other creators, but these guys were just super, super cool and unique. I mean, since I got into Glyos, I had been searching for a Stonem figure and they're very, very hard to come by, very rare to find, honestly, because they're kind of very just one-off figures. Chris from Boggling Creations, he's the one that does all the molds and everything for these guys. So all his ones are basically kind of on a one-of-one -one individual scale, basically. He'll create them, he'll make a few here and there, but they all have a little bit different flavor to them, a little bit different color tone, maybe a different paint job here and there, maybe a different eye socket, something you never know. It's not like your typical Glyos drop like O'Neill, where they'll have the same figure They'll make it like a hundred times or however many they make up and then they'll sell it until they sell out. These are more specifically made and catered to the people that actually want them. And boy, do people want them. These guys are very popular and he does very well with his drops when he does have them. Now he hasn't had a drop, I believe, since last December or something like that. It's It's been a minute since he's had a drop and I actually got into Glyos the month after he had a drop and I didn't know, so I missed out. So it took me over a year to get one of these figures. Luckily, I've been chatting with Chris for quite some time. He was finally able to hook me up with this guy, my first stone of figure. He's amazing. I absolutely love this guy. He's super cool. I was very excited to get him in my shelf of Glyos. Uh, he also got me this little dude. I forget the name of these guys as well, but I'll be putting up all the names. They all have to do with stalactites and rocks and things like that. So Chris has been teasing me and the Glaus fan base for a little bit now of that new drop that's been coming. He finally delivered with an amazing new drop with tons. I think there was like 70 figures or something that he created and all dropped on his website. And boy, man, I've been through some intense Glyos drops before. I mean, some of these like uh, Biomaster, he's got some intense drops where things are just sold out within 10 minutes. It's insanity. Chris, you take the cake for the most intense Glyos drop I've ever participated in. I was there on the dot when it went live and it was a madhouse in there. You could feel it. You could just literally feel through the internet the mass rush of Glyos fans just trying to snag what they could. And I am very, very happy to say that I got very lucky with finding, uh, I believe I got four figures and a bunch of his like little guys as well. Uh, we're gonna go through them all today. Yeah, this is the first drop for this, like this whole line. I've been dying to do like a legit Stonem review video because they're one of my favorites. So I'm very excited to actually showcase these guys a little bit more, add more to my personal collection for the Stonem line and just show these guys off and get more people hype for the next Boglin creation drop because uh, I think it's really worth it. Anyways, oh, I had to get that in there because it was just a wild experience for uh, a Glyos drop, uh, a live little session. But we've got this whole box here full of Stonem Boglin creation goodies. I can't wait to check them out. I've had the box for a couple of days. I've been waiting for an opportunity to film so I can look at them. And uh, I can't, I can't wait to get into these guys. Let's, let's do this. I think I'm just gonna open the box here and then we'll switch to a close-up cam and get into the nitty gritty of all these guys. But I'm super excited, lots of bags. Oh, he's got the cards. Oh yes, okay, I don't wanna reveal too much, but oh, this is spicy. That's gonna be awesome. Get into the close-up cam. Let's start getting all the goodies out of the bag here, out of the box, I should say. Oh man, there's so much. It's so great. Oh, that is a whole mound of guys. I love he's got like these cards that come with them too. We'll, we'll look over all in each of those. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I guess we'll start with this one too since I just showed it off. But first, let's look at this. He sent me a little comic, I believe. He, yeah, he does these little comics on his site as well. So we've got this secret world of Toyboxia. He's got some nicely drawn panels in here, some text, and then or is this a comic or is this like a, oh, it's like a little poster. Oh, very nice. Very cool. A nice little added thing in here. 
Let's get some old school vibes to it. That's very cool. A brand new role playing game from Boggling Creations coming in 2023. Oh, a role playing game. Okay, all right. He's got some, some new stuff coming alongside his Goliath endeavors. All right, the little grinds. This is the Cray booth of his line of figures, you could say. So we got the Cyclop here, little grind. He's got this little card. He's got the whole bio. Pause and read if you'd like. There's a lot here to read and we've got a lot of cards and things to go through. So if you want to check out the little bio, go ahead. I love the design of this one. He was showing these off to me a few months ago. Uh, they looked really stellar and man, yeah, they look really cool too. Look at that. They're just like the a little, you know, easy little figure just to kind of add to the little stoneum drop, the little, little, you know, if you got a, a nice little collection going of these guys, like I do now, these are going to really add to it. And I like it, man. I like it. You can see there's some cracking and stuff on some of these, but overall, I think he just does a phenomenal job with the style and like this, this very nice stone look to them. You know, there's nothing too fancy or anything with these guys, but they just got, you know, in comparison to like this guy, they just got like a unique character vibe to them. He does a good job with designing them, like the over-exaggeration of the jaws and stuff. I love how he does the jaws. It's got like Ben Grimm thing vibes coming from these guys a lot of the time. So he will be added up there. I liked the black and red one. I'm glad I grabbed him. Uh, I think I had to like add him twice because it was just going so crazy. Here's another little grind. This is the stalactite one. Let's see, what color did I get this? All right, let's just look at this first really quick. You can pause to read if you like. I love the artwork on these as well. It's nice and sharp. And let's check out the figure we got this nice kind of light blue light red going on he's a very cute looking i like his little cone head shape he's very cool man even from the pictures and everything this one looks really nice i like the kind of muted color the kind of like uh i don't know eastery kind of colors i love the blue metal eyes too really nice popping on the blue metal eyes this one maybe the eye could have been painted fuller a little bit on that, but it's okay. You can't really tell from further back or anything. He's a nice little quaint figure, dude. Bang, there we go. Another one to the little collection. Oh my goodness, I got so many of these little grinds. This is so nice. Another Cyclop one, again, just the same card that we've already read. So we've got this nice kind of light blue, simple, simple but sweet. And again, with the metallic blue eye, very sharp, very good. I think I got this one on my second order because I had to place like a second one to even try to grab what I needed to get. Uh, but this guy is really cool. So I think I picked him up on my second go around. He did have other ones too that I didn't pick up. He had like rhinos and different like animal type ones that were tiny and like rockified, I guess. I just more or less like these, the look of these guys, the slag tight and the cyclop one or cyclop one. Those were really cool. So I didn't end up getting any of the other like animalistic ones. I just kind of had to focus on certain ones, but here's like a deflex one, little grind. So we got a new one here. Oh, he's like a tiny one. Uh, is this like the, kind of reminds me of like a little tiny frog or something. Let me see if I can grab him out here. Come on, squeeze on out. This one's extra tiny, look at him. Oh my goodness. But again, that nice black and red. So I've got a matching one to go with my Cyclops one, which is very nice, very good. But there you go. Very, very sharp figure. Again, I like that silver on these guys. It works really well. What's your name again? Deflex, Deflex, little dude. And you can see the little size comparison there with the other one. I wanna look at a figure. Uh, I've been dying to look at these figures. Let's grab one of them. Who am I gonna go for first? Let's do you, the bang He even gives us a nice little bag with a little card on the top with the nice logo, the Stonem Resin Glios figures. Oh man, I hate to even break the seal, but I got to. I gotta get this bad boy out. It's for the channel, but you can see the amount of detail that goes into these. I saved my last one for this guy. He's got a nice little, you know, type Burrell. I forget, what is that? What is that? Burrell Breaker Stonem, Ros Cole. I'm gonna have to get the actual names because it's hard to read that, but Stonem gives you the whole thing, gives the nice little dot com and everything out there. So look at this, see? figure two of six. So he did six of these figures and none of them are exactly the same. I don't believe like there's only one of this color tone. I believe I correct me if I'm wrong on that, Chris, I'm not sure, but two of six. So look at that. Look at how exclusive this bad boy is, but let's very carefully not rip any of this nice stuff. Let's get this guy out here. We've even got dates on it and everything. Gross skull. 
April 8th, 2023. Bang, look at that. So cool that it's got like all these little extra added notes on it about the creation of the figure, which I kind of love. I kind of love that. It makes it more personal. This guy is so cool. Oh man, I love how he puts fabric. My guy did not come with fabric. I basically just had to get the extra bonus parts from Chris, and then I had to hook him up myself with extra like O'Neill parts and stuff. But this guy actually comes with pants. He has like these felt pants and a belt. It looks great. And the figure, ah, oh, yes, yes, that's so nice. He actually, he was telling me how he did the molds, the resin molds with the connecting bits, the glass connecting bits attached straight into the resin itself. So you can't like pull them out or anything, use them with anything else. I mean, the, the arm itself is just gonna have a connector point. So you can just connect to other things, maybe do the shoulders differently if you don't like these shoulders, but that's about it, which I'm fine with. I'm gonna keep them as is cause I like them as is. And this is just a sharp, nice looking teal. I love like the mossy, it kind of looks like moss pants. Let's flip around, see the backside here. Very nice looking, just aesthetic to these guys. I love it, I love it. They're so cool, you can see it, right? The thing, just get those thing vibes right there. Very cool, a really, really sharp figure. Just get some nice close detail shots of this bad boy. Absolutely excellent. I cannot wait to take some awesome shots of these guys and post them on the Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, wherever I'm putting it. Go follow me there, Lockdown51. I do a lot of toy photography and I especially love doing it with the Glyos. So you know, I'm gonna be getting some nice shots of these guys coming up soon. Ooh, he is fantastic. Ah, oh, yep, he sits, sits nicely, you know, nothing too crazy. Not like the most postable, but not all Glyos are made like that. And of course you can build them up, build them out however you see fit, but he is gonna stand nice right there next to my other one. I will say these don't have the resin like eye molds. This one actually, I don't know if I showed that off yet or anything, but this has like a clear resin to it. So it actually kind of like lights up the eyes in a different light. Like if you got light shining on the back of it, these breaker guys do not have that just so you know. Other ones do though. I was lucky and I did get one of them. So I can't wait to look at that one. Let's do another stalactite dude. Let's get him out. Check this guy out. It's got this nice, woo, focus up. Oh, there we go. Metallic green eyes. The red and the, oh wow, focus is just not gonna be happy with me. We got white. We got that nice kind of like dimly, uh, dimly lit green, I guess. I don't know what, I'm missing a word right now and I can't think of it. I'm gonna be blasting it in the edit of what word I'm thinking of and it's just on the tip of my tongue and Bruh. I can't seem to grab it. I can't grab this focus either, holy crap. But this guy is very cool. Ooh, we have a new one actually. So I did grab a few different ones. This is a Grumpok one which looks to be more of like the classic design of these guys, of the little grinds. So let's check him out. He's a little bit bigger than that other one that we just saw, that kind of like frog one. Okay, there we go. I think my enhancer needs to be turned off and then we'll get a nice sharp focus. We got a red metallic eye and a gold metallic eye. Lots of colors in this one, as you can see, some hints of orange, purple, blue, you name it, it's curling up around the back. Again, you can see where the molding gets a little bit weak here, but Again, you're gonna be displaying them like this, not like this. I don't really care that much about that. That's not a problem for me, but if people are picky, that's what you'd expect uh, from these little ones. They're kind of just made to just be little, you know, easy little molds to do and sell out. So they're not like expensive or anything either when he does them, so that makes it nice as well. I love the different eyes on this guy though too. That is really cool. Still can't think of the word. Okay, let's do another figure. We've got another one of these Stonebreaker guys. This one's got a little bit of a different paint job. Let's check them out. So we got, uh, let's see, four of six. Yeah, there we go, four, six, four, eight. So yeah, I'm guessing the Breakers, there's only six of the Breaker figures, the Burrell Breaker Stonem. And this guy was one of them, this guy was one of them. Again, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'm not sure, but let's check out this dude. He's got the nice fabric on him too. The Captain Rodal. Crowd control, April 8th. Now check this guy out. Look at that, he's got a metallic green going on where his kind of heart would be or something. And he's got this nice kind of silvery chest, a lot of silver going on. And again, it's a different tone of blue than our nice teal one back there. We've got the same similar shoulder pads, except they're white on this one. And we've got not the mossy green, but like this nice 
little red one, no belt. And then you can see how he kind of <laughs> attaches it here to him, which is fine with me. Probably a better job than I would ever do with fabric, which I just got myself some fabric to make capes for some Glios figures, but I'm probably going to do a crap job at first. But there is the figure, the red metal metallic eyes and the big old fists. Fists don't rotate, they are together with the arms, just so you know. So it's just one piece arms, one piece body head, and then we've got the feet shins area, and then everything else is other parts, basically, supplementary parts. And then we've got, obviously, the pants and stuff, but this one is dope. I, I was glad this was the first one I grabbed that I could find, and uh, then I snagged the other couple, but I'm really glad I got this one because I really love how the chest is painted here with the nice silver and stuff. So this one's really cool. Great looking Captain Stoneham. We're going to find a way to fit them all on that stand. I don't know how I'm going to do it. We got a couple more of these dudes. Look like we got another Cy Cyclop dude. This one's also got that kind of... Can't think of the word still. That nice light green, the white, and the red muted colors with the red metallic really sharp on this one this was a first grab for me i believe too in the store it just looked really clean really well painted a really sharp looking figure very very good another little closer up shot of him getting up nice and close and personal to these dudes really good a nice clean one yeah that's sharp plaid played what am i saying easter I, i'm trying to think of the word we got two more figures this is one of them right here another breaker there was a lot of breakers there was actually another figure that i really wanted that was more like this monster looking guy i forget his name but unfortunately he was on the first page and i wasn't fast enough to grab him before someone else did so that was a bummer but we got faker the drip the Drepitin? I don't know. Sorry, I can't read your handwriting, Chris. My bad. We got Breaker. We've got six of six. The sixth one here from 8, April 8th. Let's pull him out here. Let's see him again. This other shade of blue. We've got three different tones of blues on these guys. So this is kind of like your more natural blue, you know? Then we've got kind of like this mix between of like the sky blue, teal blue, and then like a straight green teal blue behind there. So it's interesting how he did, you know, kind of three different color grabs. I love the orange pants on him. We've got like the beige shoulder pad, which is no big deal. It can be interswapped to whatever you would like. And there we go. Look at that. Very sharp, no painted chest on this one, but you could paint it and I might actually i might be i might i might put like some highlights of uh, a really sharp metal color on the heart again or something like the captain one because i think that's a, a really nice cool effect as well but a good solid one of these breakers I, i'm very happy i got so many of these <laughs> really cool I, i'm very excited about the next one i get to show you guys too but you can see let me get some movement here you know you get some some pants moving get some stuff moving we get some action you know what i mean there we go look at that guy sharp sharp figure lots to love about these guys again the character they just have such a character and they stand out i feel like in comparison to some other glass figures they're just so different he does a good job with making a really unique different product i was kind of expecting them to be a little taller than my other figure here but that could just be like the you know the things i chose to build him with but they do look a little bit smaller than him in general with the head and the body too which is funny but they're still cool to me that's not a negative at all all right we got one more little grind we've got one more stalagmite very sharp looking do all these have different artwork for each stalagmite hold on a second oh yeah stalactite stalagmite okay wait this one's a little different it's a shorter one all right not quite the same i for a second i thought we had like separate artwork for each individual one so this is a, a new one i got a lot actually i got a lot of variety i'm happy about that i kind of just was like clicking and checking out as fast as i could i barely had a half second to even look at what i was getting half the time just want basically was like that looks cool add it and let's try to check out but pause to read if you like let's check out the stalag mic let's see him a really sharp looking one i do remember this one it's got this kind of umbery bronze gold thing going on with the metallic green he's a little derpy he's a little mushy in the face a little bit but i like him and i like the it's got like kind of a metallic -y purple too as well which is kind of neat 
I like him a lot, actually. I think it's got a really cool flavor for the resin and the colors that he chose to do. You can tell he just, man, this autofocus, my apologies. You can tell he just loves to fiddle with different color choices with his resin work. And can't say I blame him. I would probably do the same thing, but a really nice little cute mini version of the stalactite might dude. Man, we are just gonna barely fit all the figures on here. All our little, our little grinds are filling it up. We got our three in the back. We got one more awesome looking figure. And let's check them out right here. But bang the stonum. This is incredible looking. The bag is scuffed up, so it's not doing it justice. I cannot wait to take him out. Oh, let's take a look at the back. The Oath Breaker, the Crystal Mystic, the Grant Grunt Stonum. Let's see, five of six. There were six of these guys, man. See, that's how fast they were going. I only ever saw two of the Crystal Mystics in the store. So that's pretty wild. That is pretty wild. I'm just happy I got one of these guys because I was really looking and hoping for more of these kind of cool resin headed designs which i'm going to show off and showcase a little bit more here to you let's get him out and look at this resin work oh it's kind of got that see-through jelly vibes he's got a whole outfit a whole freaking outfit and look at if you look under his whole chest is there still too you know he's got a separated head he's actually exactly like my old figure except he uh is an amazing pristine green resin jelly filled wonder and uh one of my favorite colors and he's got the purple cape again my second favorite color so bang this one was just meant to be in my collection so glad i got it gonna lift up the skirt a little bit just checking it out just checking out what's underneath the skirt we got the back of it like oh yeah look at that he's got like the the rocks you can see it on the back of my guy too i forgot about that and he's got them sticking up through the fabric a nice little detail nice little touch ah yes that is amazing and then again look he actually makes a second separate resin piece that he fits into the back of the head so the head is actually hollow and then he slips this part in so when you get a nice light source like we have now coming in behind him his eyes will appear to glow he's got like that old school kenner jawa star wars jawa guy feel and it's amazing i always was a fan of those jawas i love that he kind of brought this back to glios uh, i think it was super smart it's something that makes his line very unique doing these eyes this way uh absolutely love it the crystal mystic is phenomenal he looks so sick he looks so sick He's got nice, okay, shoulder pads are nice, clear. I want to show off that chest more too. Like all of it just looks really good. Like really, really good. But just take that in. He is a good one. So glad I got one of these bad boys. I was, I was stoked. I was so stoked to get one of these. Can't wait to take photos. It's going to be so sick. This is the last figure, man. I got so many. I got so lucky. Got to thank Chris for chatting with me and telling me all about these guys. Really getting me informed on them and, uh, making me a huge fan of the cause here for these dudes. I'm so glad I was on board with the drop and I was able to get so lucky because man, oh man, it was wild. Like I said, I've said it like three times, but I ain't lying. I ain't lying. That's the, the full Stonem collection that I have now. I'm going to get it all set up nicely on the Glio shelf. It's in its own little spot, of course, but that is freaking sick. One more closer look of the drop that I received from Bogland Creations this time around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. It was just so fun to go through these guys. Here's all the links. Make sure to go check out his website. Now, uh, there are things available in the store still like t-shirts and such, uh, but I would also just suggest going and following him on Instagram. He does do updates when he's getting ready to do another drop or future drops. He does do little teasers and things on there. So if you want to get informed about when the next Stonem drop will launch, uh, make sure to follow him there and keep tabs on the website. Go order yourself a t-shirt in the meantime and stay tuned for more. I can't wait till the next one uh, happens, man, Chris. Great job. 10 out of 10. I love the new additions. They're super unique and cool. Uh, I can't wait to give them their own spot on the shelf. This is great. Oh, and the word was pastel. I don't know why I couldn't remember that, but that is it for the video. So if you enjoyed this one and you want to see more toy reviews or Glios videos, Go Go's Crazy Bones, card openings, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to leave a like on the video. I appreciate it. If you guys watched all the way through, check out the rest of the Glios content if you're a fan, and we will catch you guys in the next video.